a tool for Vice Ever police have used Craigslist before? Successfully before, hoping to send a message to these ladies that John they are hunting just might be a cop. So this afternoon they geared up to send that message again. And it doesn't take long. It's just after 4.30. It's still light outside, and the first arrest has already been made. The officers merely answered the ads the ladies have placed on Craigslist, set up a meeting, the ladies offer sex for money, and they get a trip to jail. We're finding that uh, there are numerous postings daily uh, for this type of activity on Craigslist. Numerous means by the thousands, listed under erotic services, listed by city, listed by county. On Craigslist, you can find anything, anything you want. That's where police found this woman. Tonight, she was arrest number two. We're certainly trying to raise the level of awareness, even amongst the girls that we're arresting tonight, um, and trying to educate them on the dangers of what's going on out there and strongly discourage them from engaging this kind of behavior in the future. And remarkably, the founder of Craigslist says it's not his problem. It's an online marketplace, so he leaves it up to his consumers to report advertisements like these for services that are illegal. In the meantime, as we watched a third arrest tonight, Everett Police wanted to send a message. We uh, conduct prostitution stings on the street, on the internet, um, wherever, wherever it exists, uh, and we find out about it, we're going to target it. And let the hookers and pimps of Snohomish County know that Craigslist makes the shopping easy for police officers, too. Uh, you just never know who's on the other end of that computer. Just might be a cop, as they found out tonight. And another level of this that we found out tonight, arrest number four, a person who is on her way here right now, is just 16 years old. Marysville and Snohomish County cops were also involved in this tonight, and the message they are sending is that Craigslist is making this easy advertising for everyone out here, but it is an easy hunting tool for cops as well, and that's what they want them to know. For now, live in South Everett, Kevin Reese, Como 4 News. Thank you, Kevin. A driver is looking at a lot of trouble after hitting a Seattle police officer in the U District. Police say the officer had his lights and sirens going when the other driver ran a red light and hit the squad car. Police tell us that driver has a suspended license. They're testing to see if he had been using drugs before the crash. No.